Welcome back to Paper Mario, everybody! So, we've got a lot to do today. So, we found everything there, alright. We've got some upgrade blocks to find, some recipes to make. And we probably won't even go back to the Yoshi area in this episode. So, you'll notice there's a dock over there. If only there was some way we could swim over there. Oh wait, we've got sushi. Oh man, this is a weak opening. I gotta get on my game. And I don't mean like my game for playing the game. I mean my game for giving hilarious and interesting commentary. Alright, we can net our star piece. And then of course there's this island in the middle. Gotta go down here. Upgrade block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. So now we can upgrade any of our guys again. I'm gonna start with Goombario. Now Goombario gets even more broken, if that's possible. So he's now Ultra Rank. He deals free damage per jump. And he has the ability Multi Bonk, which is literally Power Bounce for Goombario. Combine that with his Charge ability, and he can deal ridiculous amounts of damage in just a pretty short amount of time. It is amazing. Thank you, Sushi. Ah, boy. Twenty-two star pieces. Nice. Is that all I have? I don't think I need the egg for anything, so... Huh. Alright. So, we've been through here, and you can see the upgrade block up there. Um, you might be wondering how you can get it. Well, we can get it with a little help from Watt. Thanks, Watt. You're a gem. Also, if you're having trouble jumping across these, you can use Paracarry. Man, Mario just does not want to register that second jump. There we go. Alright, let's see. I'll do Sushi, because her ability will really come in handy in the Yoshi area dungeon, Mount Lava Lava. Lots of fire enemies in there. So she gets Tidal Wave, which deals water damage to all enemies, and it's potentially the most breaking attack in the game, because there's no like damage cap to the amount of damage you can deal. Alright. Well, I'm gonna start gathering ingredients for a very special recipe, or 15. Time to go back to Shy Guy's toy box. As we're going to be getting a lot of cake mix from there, and we'll be searching for any hidden blocks we find on the way. Because with spin attack, we should be able to kill these shy guys with a single spin! Okay, apparently not the groove, guys. I'll just use Star Storm. 
So regular Shy Guys I can kill with Spin Attack, but not anything better than that, because those guys still give me one star point apiece. Right jar. Mystery! Who knows what it does? Take a chance to find out. Another fright jar and some cake mix. Alright. Yeah, sure, I'll take a mushroom. Unfortunately, you have to leave Shy Guy's Toy Box every time you get Cake Mix in order for new ones to spawn. Makes sense, but... Because Cake Mix is used for, like, a ridiculously high amount of recipes, it can get a little annoying. Three more items, drat. I'm mixing my kick mix with my mushroom. <laughs> Mario's head is the sun. And we get the Shroom Cake! Cake Big by Taste Tea restores 10 HP and 10 FP. Dang, that looks good. Now we're mixing that with a Strange Leaf. And we get the Strange Cake! This electrifies Mario, turns him transparent, or makes him sleep. And now, I just want to try something. If you cook just a mystery, you can get a random item. So let's see what this does. Whoa, the big cookie! Okay, huge cookie baked by Taste Tea restores 20 FP. Normally to get that, you need to mix cake mix and a uh, berry that you get from the next world. Okay, that worked. Hey, Harry. I'm selling my fright jars. I don't really need another Super Sona. Alright. Alright, Tasty, we got more recipes for ya. Cake mix. Lime. We get the lime candy, a tiny candy made by Taste Tea, restores 20 FP. Cake mix. Lemon. And we get the lemon candy, a tiny candy made by Taste Tea, restores 5 HP and 15 FP. Lemon candy, if you've got it in your inventory when you talk to Anti-Guy, you can give it to him and he'll let you open the chest without fighting him.
Alright. Ooh, I got two fire flowers. Alright, I'll take one of those. And a coconut. Seriously, cake mix? <laughs> you need it so much in this game, and it's much easier to get in this game than it is in Thousand Year Door. Cake mix? Coconut. And we get the Cocoa Pop, sweet candy made by Taste Tea, restores free HP and 15 FP. Cake mix. Fire flower. Very interesting recipe up here. We get the Fire Pop, a hot lollipop made by Taste Tea, restores 20 FP but uses 1 HP. You actually lose 1 HP if you use that. I hope this isn't too boring an episode, if it's just me running around making stuff. I swear we'll do more exciting stuff in a bit. Cake mix and a Koopa Leaf, for starters. And we get the Kooky Cookie! Makes Mario electric, sleepy, or transparent. Restores 15 FP. Right, mushroom, Koopa Leaf. And we get the Volt Shroom, electrifies Mario briefly and damages enemy. Oh yeah, we've made this before. Volt Shroom, and Cake Mix. We get the Electro Pop, a tart lollipop made by Taste Tea, restores 15 FP. Let's get some more cake mix! Like, really hard. Alright, cake mix. Jam and jelly. Cake mix and a dizzy dial makes a mistake, not a dizzy pop. Even though Dizzy Dial basically looks like a lollipop anyways. And we get the Jelly Pop! A big lollipop made by Taste Tea. Restores 64 FP. The highest amount of FP you can get in the game is 50. You can have 65 FP if you equip all three FP Plus badges, but you probably aren't going to be doing that. So yeah, that's kind of an overkill item. Alright. Mushroom. Koopa Leaf. And we get a Volt Shroom again. We're gonna do this little trick again so we can get ourselves a Life Shroom. Yep. Now we're mixing a life shroom with our last finna cake mix. And we get the sweet shroom, a yummy cake made by Taste Tea, restores 30 HP and 20 FP. That's a good item. Alright. Honey syrup, please. Alright, these are the last desserts of the episode. But you can see just how much cake mix is used in this game. Honey syrup. And we get the honey candy, a sweet candy made by Taste Tea, restores 20 FP. I think that is identical to the lime candy. Now we're it's time to make the one and only recipe that requires apples. Okay. 
We get the apple pie, and apple pie baked by Tasty restores 5 HP and 15 FP. That looks like a McDonald's apple pie if I've ever seen one. Alright, so all the cooking aside, we're actually going to do something now. Alright, so we're checking the jelly pop for one. And the sweet shroom. Those are too good to use now. I'll probably never use the jelly pop, let's be honest. Alright. I want some HP refilling items, so I'll take a yummy meal. Maple super. Room cake. And a bland meal. Alright. Actually, I should not have pulled out Goombario just there. Keep ice or speedy spin on. I'm just uh, equipping some pad badges for this upcoming fight we're gonna be doing. We're taking a nap just to refill our star meter because we actually will be using star spirits in this battle. It's a tough fight, but let's just say it'll make getting back to Lava Lava Island quite a bit easier. Also, we're gonna need sushi out. Oh, sweet! I've got 200 coins. I suppose I could sell my jelly pop. They'll pay a lot of money for a jelly pop. So we're gonna fall down here. Right across here. Blooper! And look how huge this one is. Alright. And this is why I equipped Quick Change, so this way we can say, alright, Goombario. And now Goombario can attack on this turn, so... This is a super blooper! Whoa, it's huge! Easily the biggest blooper ever! Max HP 70, attack power 5, defense power 0. Trust me, its size doesn't lie, it's pretty powerful. When it gets mad, it gets red, and its power goes way up. And sometimes it spawns blooper babies. Buckle down, Mario, we're in for a fight. Yeah, the blooper babies are not fun. See, I actually am not going to use Goombario's uh, charge ability, because if he turns red, I'm going to need to change to bow immediately, and then I think the charge is going to wear off. So... Free damage apiece, though! Aw, blooper babies. Let's see. I don't think I've got... Oh, well, first off. This is a blooper baby. Super blooper spits them out when they come in to, in to drain you. Max HP 6, attack power 2, defense power 0. We need to beat them up quickly so they can't drain us dry. They're so cute, though. Hopefully this won't wear off my jump charge. You've been a very bad boy. Yep, that's the move you don't- Okay, sweet, it doesn't wear off my jump charge. And 
this is why I equipped Quick Change. Out of sight, Vegemite, Larry boy. Because this attack deals, I think, 20 damage. Trust me, you don't want to get hit by that. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? Actually, nah. I still have my Dizzy Dial. I think I'll use that on him. Not now. I'm gonna use Star Storm just to be safe, but... I could use Sushi's Tidal Wave also to kill the Blooper Babies. But right now, I don't really have any partners that can deal damage to all aerial enemies. You know what? Let's try power mounts now. Wow. Could have done this a turn or two ago. <laughs> Take that, Super Blooper. Oh my gosh. Well, that's pretty cool. As you can see, jump charge plus power bounce. It's a very good combo. All right, that'll take us to Mount Lava Lava. Time for me to rearrange my badges, though. Pretty lucky never even came on. Disappointing. All right, where is Ice Power? Where is it? There it is. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need Spike Shield, uh, eventually. Free BP. I'm glad I've got free BP left over. Maybe Happy Flower? Or Power Bounce. Yeah, uh, nah, I'll do Happy Flower, actually. I have a hunch we'll be using FP quite a bit in the next area. Oh no. We are in the wrong part of town. We're not supposed to face these enemies until the dungeon. This is a spike top. Spike tops have spikes on top. Duh. Max HP 4, attack power 3, defense power 4. They're tough, just like buzzy beetles, and fire attacks don't affect them at all. But their defense power drops if you flip them over. This is why you want spike shield. Yeah, I'm happy. So every turn, you restore 1 FP. It's nice. I think we'll let Watt finish this guy off. Quick Change is just a great badge for really any occasion, to be perfectly honest. It's not game-breaking, but it's just very useful. Oh boy! Hi! Hi! Happy Koopa! Oh, very happy Koopa. This is not good. Alright, well, I really don't want to have to deal with the Dizzy attack, so... Take that. I do not want him to make Mario Dizzy at all.
Happy! I'm sorry, 1 FP every time Mario attacks. Very useful if you use a lot of FP, especially if you equip two of them. Thank you, Watt. I love you. The defense piercing ability is extremely useful. So you might be wondering how in the world you could get up there. Uh, we'll figure that out later. Same with here. A lot of blocks out of our reach. This is what I'm looking for. Normal looking wall. Big secret. Ah, uh, hi dude. Boy, who could live down here? What a crazy dude! He's a merchant by the name of Rip Cheeto. Who knows why he's set up here? I guess it doesn't matter. People can sell stuff wherever they want. It's their choice. I actually kind of like it here. It's like a secret fort. Well, well, looky here. Hello, hello, hello. Rip Cheeto at your service. You're quite an enterprising fellow finding this place. What am I doing here? Just doing a little business and minding my own. You, my friend, have just stumbled into great fortune, for I have a deal for you. I have something special, and it costs only 64 coins. Deal? Trust me, it's a bargain. Sure. We get a star piece. Well done, my good man. I thank you deeply. Now, if you thought that item was good, I have something even better at the same price. 64 coins. But I warn you, this offer is only good right now. You'll be kicking yourself if you miss this opportunity. So how about it? Do we have a deal or not? So the way this guy works is... If you pay him 64 coins, he gives you a kind of a random item. However, as you saw, I got a star piece from it, and you can get a badge from doing this. So, life shroom, that's a bad deal, but all right. I'm not going to buy just because I don't have any room in my items, I don't think. Yeah, I'd have to throw one away, and I don't want to throw away any of those items. You can get a... Fairly decent badge if you keep buying stuff from him. You might be wondering where we are. Well, we get the old key. Open this door, and... Surprise! New shortcut warp pipe. Alright, it's time we got back to Lava Lava Island, though. best part is there are even more upgrade blocks in La Mount Lava Lava. Hey guys, I'm back. Alright. Welcome to Yoshi's Cabana. Five more items, okay. Got a lot of FP restoring items, don't I? I don't think I'm gonna need the life shroom, but I mean, I might as well hold on to it. Hi, Yoshi. I am here to claim every single one of my snowman dolls. Oh, I only have two? Really? That's more than enough, though. You don't need snowman dolls in this uh, dungeon, but they help against the boss. It's not like Sticker Star, where you need certain stickers in order to beat the bosses. That was one of the big things that I did not like about Sticker Star. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a giant pokey, like, that's like, a, like deep in the desert, very dry. Oh, I probably need to use, like, the squirt gun and, like, the, uh, like, ice cream against him. And it's like, no, you gotta use the baseball bat. How did you not figure that out? It's, uh, that's not logical. Alright, Colorado's been waiting for us. Caw, 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 caw. Alright, time for my favorite dungeon like ever. I 
identified as Mario. Alert, report to boss. Alert, alert. Hmm, I sense danger here. All adventures are dangerous, though, so what of it? We must press on toward the glory of an unknown treasure. Oh man, I can't even imagine how painful that would be. Yeah! What's wrong with this rock? It sank right into the lava! We gotta do this. This area just looks so awesome, though. The lava's very well animated. And the smoke on the ceiling? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. First enemy of the area. Oh yeah, my jumps deal a lot of damage against these guys. Lava bubbles. This is a lava bubble, a fireball monster. Lava bubbles near live near lava. Max HP 9, attack power 4, defense power 0. They are obviously pretty hot, so you'll get hurt if you try to jump on them. They sometimes attack your friends, like me, too. The attack power of that attack is 2. Because of their fiery nature, they fear snow and water. Yep, this is where ice power comes in handy. Sweet! Yeah, look how much damage that deals. Hey, I'm happy. Yeah, you're not fighting Goombario. Alright, I'm getting annoyed with the happy flower. Tell you what I'm... Here's what I'm gonna do. Badges. I am going to unequip Power Smash. That's really not gonna come in handy in this area. And... Happy flower and equip Quick Change. I rather like that badge. Jump across these. Easy peasy. And you see a power block down there, so... First we're gonna go through here, and hey, you remember fire bars from Koopa Rose Fortress? And wow, there is not a save here. I thought there was a save at the very beginning of the dungeon. I'm sorry. Well, we'll cut out most of the backtracking to Shy Guy's Toy Box, so this will be a regular length video, I think. Money, money, money. And another upgrade block. All right. I'll upgrade what? Watts Ultra Rank, 5 damage for Electro Dash, so that's quite a bit of damage to Pierce, and we get Mega Shock, which can paralyze all enemies. Rather nice, that. Hey, Cooper. This is literally the only time we'll need you in this dungeon, and we don't even need you. Alright, this screams invisible blocks. Or maybe not. Oh yeah! Ho ho! Five damage! Yeah, sorry, Paracarry, you're gonna be the last person I upgrade to Ultra Rank. <laughs> just don't like him in battle, you know? Okay, that's right. Save block here. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Florty. If you tune in for the next episode, we are going to finish Mount Lava Lava, my favorite dungeon. Have a great day, and God bless.